Rang Kong Tui Vietnam is the name of a series of events which attracts many world famous scientists to Vietnam to share the latest researches. It is also the name of the scientific organization that hosts the events. After being held in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, Rang Kong Tui Vietnam has been held at a fixed place since 2013. The International Center for Interdiscipline Science and Education ICISC in Gành Rang, Quy Nhơn, Bình Định. Until now, ICISC has received about 3,000 scientists, including 10 Nobel laureates and Vietnamese scientists, participating in conferences on many fields such as theoretical physics, experimental physics, space science, planetary science. In late February and early March 2018, more than 70 scientists from 20 countries participated in the science conference on exoplanets at ICISC Center, presided over by Professor Wisum Epra. The conference included plenary sessions, presentations and discussions on the latest research findings on exoplanets. It is a great opportunity for researchers and astrophysics in Vietnam to meet and exchange with the world's leading scientists in the field of great interest in recent years. Welcome to Sharing Vietnam on VTC10 NetViet and please welcome Mr. Guizhom Ebra. He will tell us about his experience uh, in the International Conference in Quy Nhơn, Bình Định. Thank you for joining us. I'm very happy to be here. Let's start this conversation uh, with your impression about Vietnam. Have you known much about Vietnam before coming here? Uh, not really. I knew from history and I'm happy to be here and to, to meet Vietnamese people. It's, it's nice to know, to know about a country in books, in newspapers, mm -hmm. but uh, of course it's, it's even better to be uh, on the country and to, to meet with people from that country. What do you feel about the IC Science Center? It's very, it's very nice, the Science Center. Yes, it's, uh, so it's a center for meetings, meeting between uh, scientists from uh, different uh, thematics. So now we have a meeting on the extrasolar planets. So, uh, an important field of astrophysics and uh, yes it's a very good location for that and uh, we have participating to our meeting a lot of people from uh, all around the world and I think they're happy to be here in such an environment which is very quiet to have good discussion to discuss about uh, future programs so maybe there are some uh, hopefully I hope there will be new programs which will be decided here during that week here in uh, Queen Yon and uh, I would be very happy of that if this is one of the results of our meeting. Please tell me the reason why you joined this conference on exoplanetary science in Queen Yun Bing Ding. So the aim of the conference here is uh, about uh, extrasolar planets. So you know, I suppose what is a planet in our solar system. We know the Earth, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn orbiting around our Sun. And uh, for a long time, we know that uh, the stars that we saw, that we see during the nights as the sun, and so we know now for 20 years that there are planets orbiting the other stars and the sun. And so these planets they are called exoplanets or extrasolar planets. And so for more than 20 years, we detect them, we study them. There are a lot of, uh, of results. So exoplanetology, extrasolar planet uh, science is very dynamic. A lot of people work on that. And so one of the goals of this conference is to present latest results obtained in uh, exoplanet science and, as I told you, to prepare a new program to exchange, to exchange between uh, colleagues working on this field. You know uh, Van Tran, you, uh, a Vietnamese uh, researcher which has a, a strong links uh, with, uh, French, with, with France. And so he proposed me to, uh, to organize that meeting. I know about that place, but I didn't come before. And uh, actually, a lot of Colleagues who came here before told me, oh, it's very nice to, to have meetings here, to organize meetings here. So when Van proposed me to organize that, uh, that meeting, uh, yes, finally I say yes. And what do you think about organizing this conference in Bing Ding, a province of Vietnam, where, you know, astronomy and astrophysics are not very popular in Vietnam? So it's a good way to, uh, to make astro astronomy more popular in a country. 
of course, we have some uh, researchers from Vietnam uh, uh, participating to, to, to the meeting. So it's a good opportunity for somebody like me who did not know them before to exchange with them uh, to, to know about their work, about their results, and for them in the other way to know better uh, me or my other colleagues from uh, Europe, from uh, USF, to exchange, to exchange about our scientific uh, programs. And also, at the occasion of, the, of, the, of that conference, there will be a public talk tomorrow at the Queen Union University. So it, here, the, the, the meeting is for, it's specialized, it's for professional astronomers or students. But tomorrow at the, at the Queen Union University, it will be a public lecture for students, but also for everybody. So it will be uh, easy from that to, to, popular, to popularize uh, astronomy and from people to know better about astronomy. In this conference, have you met Vietnamese scientists who are investigating the, in this field? And what do you feel about them? Yes, so some of them, yes. Uh, first, I was in Hanoi, so I, I discussed with some of the uh, teachers and researchers in physics. And also here, we have some, uh, some participants who are from uh, Vietnam. And I would say now we're in discovery, but uh, I'm very excited to, to exchange with new person from new country. I think it's uh, that uh, exoplanets or astronomy or science in general is a good way to, uh, to help discussion exchanges between, uh, between people all around the world. Because we, we deal with the same subject actually. Here there are extrasolar planets, but whatever the subject in science, they are kind of universal subjects. And so it's very interesting that we are able to share these researches, this knowledge, among different people from different countries, different cultures. Like Professor Wisdom Embra for the majority of international scientists participating in the science conference on exoplanets, that is the first time they have come to Vietnam. That is also the first time they have shared their latest findings with the scientists and the public in this country. Uh, basically, I'm measuring the length of a day of an exoplanet. I'm lucky that my particular topic that has uh, quite a broad appeal, so it's both people that care about how do planets move, how have uh, that evolved over time, they are interested in what I do, uh, people that uh, like to, to learn something about the disks that the planets form in, they're also uh, interested in, in my work. Uh, it's always nice to hear what kind of questions they have just to sort of hone in on what is actually interesting about my research from their perspective. Uh, so I, I certainly think that uh, you always learn something new from their questions. For all scientists in the world, it's a very nice experience to meet together. And uh, from Vietnam, but also for all over the world, we are very happy to meet together because we are used to speak through emails, through uh, publication in journals, but to meet face-to-face -face is really important for the science building. Important topics were discussed such as methods and equipment for detecting exoplanets, how to study the planet's atmosphere, answering questions of extraterrestrial life. Therefore, there are a lot of information and knowledge for the Vietnamese scientists to learn and exchange, especially when they have similar research directions with scientists around the world. Nhìn chung là là chúng tôi cũng chọn những cái hướng mà nó là những cái chủ đề nóng và đang có hàng đầu trên thế giới hiện nay và đặc biệt trong cái giai đoạn hiện nay thì là cái cái hướng đó chúng tôi có thể tiếp cận được bởi vì là những cái số liệu từ những cái đài thiên văn hiện đại nhất thì sau một thời gian quan sát thì người ta mở ra cho tất cả các cộng đồng các nhà khoa học vì thế là tại Việt Nam thì chúng tôi cũng có thể làm được những cái cái nghiên cứu giống như những cái nước ở uh, tiên tiến ở trên những các nước phát triển trên thế giới. With the efforts of science and education, organizations as well as central and local governments, the field of astronomy is becoming more and more popular with both researchers and public in Vietnam. Binh Ninh province is building a science complex, comprises a planetarium, a science museum and an astronomical observatory. These works will contribute to the city of Quy Nhơn, making it an urbanization of science and education, helping Vietnam integrate with developed countries in the field of science. You know, many people think that uh, astronomy and astrophysics 
are too difficult to develop in a developing country like Vietnam. What would you like to say about it? That's true that some of the researches that, that, uh, that we, we do in astrophysics require large facilities, large telescopes, something like that. But uh, first, these large telescopes, these large facilities, could be reachable even for, for, for everybody around the world, so including uh, Vietnamese uh, researchers. So they could apply to obtain time to this telescope, collaborate with people who have access to this telescope. So this is the first way. Another way is that still in, astro in astronomy, there remain things which are doable with a uh, lower budget, with a lower funding. I discussed with some colleagues here, and I know also, I, I meet there are a lot here in Quignon and around in Vietnam, a lot of uh, amateur astronomers. So people who do astronomy as a hobby. But uh, even such kind of people uh, could also contribute to research and of course could contribute to promote astronomy in the Vietnamese population and uh, astronomy and uh, knowledge in astronomy. Have you visited the Exploratum Science Center which is being built here? Yeah, yeah I saw that. So it's in construction, so it's not uh, open yet, but uh, Again, it's, very, uh, it's a very nice building, so clearly there is a, this is a good tool to do a diffusion of uh, knowledge, diffusion of, of science, public outreach. With limited resources and equipment, uh, could you give some suggestions to carry our researches uh, in astrophysics? In exoplanets, in uh, uh, exoplanetary science, it is possible to do interesting research, uh, even with small size telescopes, as the one that uh, will be, will be uh, built here. So the, when you have a, a, an extrasolar planet, so a planet orbiting on a star, or on a star, another star than our sun, if, we, if it transits in front of the star, if it passes in front of the star, you can detect, you cannot see it, but you can detect the drop in the light of the star due to the fact that the planet transiting in front of the star. A lot of amateur astronomers do that all around the world, so I'm sure Vietnam uh, astronomers could do that also. And I discussed with them, and this is their plan, they plan to do that. So for example, as I told you, for transiting planets, it is feasible from the ground with small size telescope. And uh, if uh, people do that for, for so, so some system, it will be very useful to refine the parameter of the, of the planet, of the system, know well when the transit will occur, something like that. And this information are very important for research in astrophysics. And so with small size telescope, we can contribute to that. Do you have any ideas or plans to improve collaborating with Vietnamese scientists in the future? So, uh, no, I have no concrete plan, but clearly this is one of the goals of uh, such kind of meeting. So we're just at the beginning of the meeting. But yes, I'm optimistic that uh, it will. Uh, this is one of the goals of the meeting. As I told you, I'm very optimistic about that. Uh, in particular, for extrasolar planets, there are a lot of results which can be obtained uh, from a small size telescope. So if as there is a project here, a small size telescope is uh, constructed here, it could contribute. And again, there are also other kind of things. Uh, it could be, uh, there are a lot of work that could be done in, uh, in uh, numerical simulations. So to do numerical simulation, you, do, you need good knowledge in physics, you need good computers, you need to be a good programmer, a good statistician, and uh, I'm sure there are people like that in Vietnam. Uh, this weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, we had a school here at the, at the conference center and some people from the science museum, from Explora Science, came to the school with us so we can exchange, we can give some uh, astrophysics uh, courses to them and uh, it was very nice and uh, we'll be in contact with them to, to collaborate with them in, in the preparation of that museum. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And that's all we have for this episode of Sharing Vietnam. Any recommendations and feedbacks, don't hesitate to contact us at sharingvietnam at netviettv.net. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you again. Mm -hmm.